Oh. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to today's vlog. We are headed off to swim class today. So I figured I'd take you guys along for the day today. Um, subscribe if you're new. But I gotta head to swim or we're gonna be late. The kids have been doing swim for two weeks straight every single day. So this is our morning routine it's and it is 9.16. They have to be there at 10 and it's about 20 minutes away. So I gotta go, I'll see you in a few. back from swim um i just made myself a smoothie um i shared about these smoothies um, a couple of weeks ago in a vlog um i do have a discount code with them so if you're interested you can get your first box for 23 dollars with my code and then you also get like this metal straw and i don't know they have really good ingredients in it my mouth is frozen because i just downed this and it was so good. Honestly, I really like this one. Hint of mint is the flavor I chose. I was going to make avocado toast, but I don't have an avocado that is ripe. So I figured I would just drink one of those and see if I'm hungry after that. If so, then I'll just make some eggs or something. But the kids did so good at swim. Um, Victoria is done and Jackson is going to do one more week. Um, but yeah, what else we have on the agenda today is... Um, we have to go to the dentist so at 2 30 we will be heading over or at, we have to be there at 2 30 we'll be heading over to the dentist um but that's really all i'm gonna give you guys a little haul later on today um i got some clothes in from old navy for a tour so i'm just gonna finish up my smoothie yeah finish up the smoothie mm. See if the kids want to have some lunch and probably just hang out a little bit and kind of relax since we have to go 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 right in the morning i never get like a chill minute so maybe before the dentist we'll just take a little moment to chill watch a show or something like that but yeah some big decisions have been made about tour and her school so i figured i guess i could share that with you guys i shared over on my instagram um, if you're not following me there, I'll have it linked down below. I share a lot of like my everyday thoughts and everyday life over there. So if you like seeing me on the day today, then you can definitely find me over there. But um, yeah, with school. So her school just came out and said that they're going to have to wear masks mandatory um, the whole time in the classroom. I'm pretty sure that I may have read that they said outdoors too, like on the playground, which is super weird. Um, I may have misread that, but I'm almost positive. That's what I read. Um, social distancing, no one sharing, like, school supplies. And I honestly just didn't feel like it was the right environment for my child. Um, there's a lot of reasons, but mainly we move in two months, less than two months. Um, my husband will be finding out where he's going um this coming wednesday so it's just honestly not worth it to me um to send her to school for two months and in that two months who knows what could happen it could go back and forth like over oh, all the kids go in school you know they're gonna have germs and then something's gonna spike or someone's gonna have a case and then it's like they all go back to virtual school anyway so i just decided for best for us is um virtual school so it's funny because I actually said like longest time like she's going to school. Um, my only concern was the mask thing. I figured if they were wearing them in the hallways, that would be fine. But like in the classroom, they should just be able to like be able to not have it on. Um, I got her a backpack, like I got school clothes, all of these things because she was going to school. And um, last minute I decided she's not going to school. She's gonna do virtual school home with me. Her school is offering a virtual and a um, in-person so you can choose, but I'm choosing the virtual, like I said, 
will be moving soon and with all the back and forth possibilities of if someone has a case we all have to go home or quarantine or whatever i just didn't want the headache and i didn't want her first year of school school like she went to preschool last year but it was only two years this year she's going to kindergarten and it would be a full day I just don't want to tarnish her experience and I asked her too. I said, do you want to stay home with me or do you want to go to school? And I told her like she could be with her friends and her teacher and all these things. And she said no, that she wanted to stay home with me. She wanted me to teach her um, that going to school is boring. And I totally understand that because they stretch out everything. Like I could teach her stuff in probably less than three hours with the virtual school. If she went to school, she's going to be there for eight to nine hours. And it's just a lot so crazy but i signed her up for virtual schooling so we will be doing that this year so say a prayer for me because i'm gonna need it um <clears throat> i think it'll be really great though for jackson because um they get along like pretty well for the most part um but hey i'm gonna try and teach him like preschool stuff and i was really looking forward to him and i like having one sole year just him and i um, it was really nice when she was in preschool to have a little time with him, but I honestly don't think it's worth it. Um, I don't even know if next year he'll go to preschool, like if things will be better, who knows? It's so unknown and I know you guys totally relate to this. Um, but yeah, so that's what we decided. It is a big decision, but I am grateful and i feel in my mommy gut that is the best decision for our family so that is what we're doing let me know down in the comments what you decided to do um and i'm just curious i have no like shame on you either decision i get it like if you need to work or you need a break or whatever like send them to school if you feel that's right for your family but just because like i said we're moving and we have the option i am choosing to do virtual so anyway like i said i bought some school clothes because i thought we were going to school um but obviously that is not happening so it's okay she needed new clothes anyway but later on i'm going to show you guys those clothes yeah yeah she's good yeah, I thought that would be, I mean, moving hard, but like hanging on the other side. Oh, yeah. Look at there. Let's get Mr. Thirsty. Can you say, ah? Oh. You want some water? Like your sister? There you go. Say, oh, let's get that toothpaste out. So we are home from the dentist. The kids did really good. Jax is still a little nervous. Um, when he goes, but he did really good. No cavities. Everything looks great. Um, it was good to, it's cool because Tor got x-rays today so I could see her big girl teeth coming, like what they're going to look like. And it's so crazy to see like those big of teeth are going to come up and like knock these baby teeth out. So that is interesting, but yeah, we just got home from the dentist and, um, now I'm going to make something to eat. It is almost four o'clock and I'm starving because like I showed you guys, all I had for lunch was that smoothie. So I'm kind of hungry. Actually, I'm really hungry. So I'm going to make something to eat see if they want something. And yeah, my package never came yet, but I did see that the mail person was doing the mail as I came in the, in the neighborhood. So I'm going to check the mail in a little bit and maybe... My package came because I want to show you guys my clothing haul. I have half of it, so I could just show you half of it, but I really just wanted to show it all to you. So we'll see about that. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to make for my like Linder lunch dinner. I'll show you one second. So the kids decided that they were hungry too, so I ended up making them food first. So Tora is having some pasta with some sauce. And Jack's having good old chicken nuggets and grapes. Typical for him. I shared this on my Instagram, but a really good mom hack is to um, get cups that are cool that they don't always get to have and fill them up with water. And it definitely has made my kids drink water so much more. So Whoa, I ate the lollipop. I got these cups at Target. I got, I ate the lollipop. Did you? Make myself a quesadilla with um, grilled chicken, cheese, rice, uh, not rice, um, bean, black beans, and corn i showed you it before um and then some sour cream and guac so that's what i'm gonna make cue the montage
And here is my final result. My avocado wasn't as ripe, was too ripe, um, or wasn't ready yet, so it's a little hard. Sour cream, and then the fajita quesadilla situation. So, can't wait to eat, and the kids are driving nuts. I had to make them food, obviously, and then they just kept wanting more and more and more and more, and like I couldn't even get to my own food. So it took me like an hour just to make this. Um, so now I was like, leave me alone, I'm in my bubble. No one talked to me, let me just eat in peace, and then we can deal with what else you want to eat because I fed them both two different meals during the time of me making my one meal. So, motherhood. Well, good thing that I made dinner because- uh, the microwave no, the power just went out in the whole house. Um, there's a really bad storm outside about like it's coming. It's basically here. And I just finished eating and the power went out. Um, so good thing because I would have been very upset if I couldn't make food. Okay, so because of the weather, I didn't even think I'd be able to film this portion of the video, but I know that's what you guys are here for, the haul, okay? So I'm going to show you everything that I got for Victoria for school. Like I told you guys earlier in this video, I plan on taking her to full on school, like in person school. But as you have learned, I have decided to do a virtual. So um, I'm just gonna share with you what I got and I don't know. I like hauls. I think they're fun. So some like a lot of this is a collective haul. Um, the shoes I got like over time. I actually got them like right after she got out of school because their Old Navy was having a huge sale. And then her backpack I got actually like a month ago. <laughs> um, and then the actual clothes I placed in order about two weeks ago. So I'm going to jump into it and share with you guys what I got for her for school which she'll be home with me and probably in pajamas so maybe i should have just invested in some more pajamas okay first i'm gonna start off i got her these a while ago from old navy they're so cute though they are tie-dyed so pink and white tie-dye and these are the style of shoe that she like lives in and she loves them so had to pick these up in a size up i honestly don't even know if these are gonna fit her anymore because i feel like her feet has grown so much but i got her a nine in these and then with that order i placed these so she's had these actually three years in a row um she loves unicorns if you don't know and so I got these for her and I got them a size up. So I got her a size nine and they're cute. They're from Old Navy. And then her last pair of shoes that I got her all sneakers because she's not like a sandal girl really. Um, she's all about the sneakers. So on, I figured when she went to the playground and all those things that she will be doing with me now, um, some more secure shoes so i found these actually at marshall's they're adidas and they were very affordable i want to say they were like 20 bucks so definitely check out your local marshall's if you're looking for some high-end shoes they have nikes there at like t at a uh, tj maxx and marshall's they have nikes and adidas so that's where i picked these up jackson actually got a pair as well with the black straps i mean the black stripes so this is the backpack that she picked out. It is from Pottery Barn Kids. She just added this little poof to it. She had it on her back backpack from last year um, from Target. But it is an Elsa and Anna backpack. And it is the Frozen collection from Pottery Barn Kids. They were having a huge sale about a month ago. And so that's when I picked this up. And um, I figured we'll just be keeping all of her school supplies in there. And then I also picked her up a lunchbox as well to match it. So I guess we can pretend and make it super fun and pack her lunch and maybe it'll make it feel a little bit more normal. Um, so she has the matching lunchbox and the matching backpack for virtual school. <laughs> um, but anyway, she can use this for like trips and stuff like that. It's a really good quality backpack. So I'm not mad about it and she is obsessed with it. So, you know, make the girl happy. So I picked her up these leggings i got her a 5t in everything i got her a 5t in tops and bottoms um because i felt that 4t as pants were very short on her and 4t shirts were getting short on her so she is now a 5t um this is from cotton on 
I've been loving shopping at Cotton On. Like I said, she loves unicorns, so hence the unicorn pants. So mostly she needed pants, so that is what I picked up for her. And then this is from Cotton On. Like I said, I've been shopping at Cotton On a lot lately, and I really enjoy their cra their graphic tees for like kids and for adults. So I picked this up for her and they were having a big sale where all their graphic tees were, I want to say either under $10 or just at $10 and they're really good quality. I ordered a few of them um, in the beginning of the summer for both of the kids and they've held up so well and highly recommend if you've never checked out Cotton On, definitely do so because it is very modern and like Tor is basically going to be wearing clothes that I would wear. So but this little tee for her, it has a little tiny, I don't know if it's gonna post, unicorn in the pocket. I just thought that was like a cute little touch. And yeah, this is from Cotton On Kids. A plain white pink tee to go with basically anything. And then a adorable little rainbow shirt, like I would wear this. It has cute little rainbow on the side and then on the back, it also has a rainbow like how cute I mean are you kidding me and lastly from cotton on I had to get this it says running the world in this pretty little burnt orange color with pink writing and then on the back it says girls so running the world and then girls because we're all about women empowerment here in this house so I really thought it was a cute shirt and she had to have it. I picked these up the other day at Target. They're just some sparkly pink bike shorts. And then moving right along to Old Navy. So some polka dot pants. I love these, like I want a pair in my size. I just think the polka dots are so cute, the black and cream. I mean, are you kidding me? So I love Old Navy. It's one of my favorite places to shop for the kids. It has some zebras and some giraffes and some trees on it. Full length pants. These are not uh, girls, but I'll show you anyway. <laughs> They're in here. The old navy um, little boy shorts are so cute. So Jackson is obsessed with dinosaurs. So I had to get them. They're a neutral color and we'll go with pretty much anything. And then some leopard pants because you can never go wrong with some leopard or cheetah print. I love putting cheetah print on her. Fun fact, if you didn't know, my first car, I had cheetah print seat covers and they were everything. I love them and I don't regret it one bit. <laughs> um, and then some pink and white striped little leggings. I don't know. I feel like the, the window is washing that out, but just pink and white striped on the neutral side. And then let's see, I only got her a few tops from there because I ordered a couple tops already from um, Cotton On and I had a couple other tops from Carter's and I'll show you guys those in a minute. So this is from Old Navy. It just says love. And if you don't know, and if you can't tell by the haul, I am super basic, like super basic. And so is Tor. Like she does not like to wear dresses, which I'm very sad about. She likes to wear skirts, but ones with like the shorts underneath, which I'm all for. Um, the cotton ones that Target has, she has like literally all of them. Um, I got them over the summer, but like I said, she needed pants. So that's why there's mostly pants in this haul. Um, so she wears those kind of skirts, but she doesn't wear dresses and she doesn't like like frilly shirts and stuff like that, which kind of makes me sad, but I totally get it because I like to be really comfy and basic too so it's probably why I always dress her in like super casual things and not dresses all the time so she's not really used to wearing dresses and now it's biting me in the butt but hopefully she'll grow into it maybe I don't know um okay so some basic gray leggings you can never go wrong with some gray leggings and some light pink ones never go wrong some tie-dye ones Wow, look at that. That would match her shoes perfectly, but that'd be kind of weird. Maybe not. We'll see. She could probably pull it off, but some cute little tie-dye. A 
polka dot top that looks it's exactly the same as the bottoms but i obviously wouldn't put them together but a cute little mix and match staple there and then oh yes yes i did already get that's right some bike shorts these are like a little bit shorter of bike shorts um i think these could go under dresses and stuff if she were to wear a dress but you know i just told you she doesn't so she could just wear these on a regular day with a cute little graphic tee and lastly this is a shirt she's been wearing for a couple weeks now um this is another shirt from cotton on just a basic really good quality t-shirt so that is my haul of all the stuff that I got her for school. Um, but she will be spending a lot of it in pajamas now. I mean, we will leave the house and it's good to have all this stuff, but I don't know. I figured I'd entertain you guys and share with you guys what I got. Um, let me know if you have already done school shopping or if you plan on doing, like I asked earlier, virtual schooling, curious of what you are choosing to do. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and enjoyed this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.